this video is um, because I, obviously I've been making salves and doing oils for a couple of years and done it on um, just little cuts, abrasions, um, animals, um, pressure sores, believe it or not, um, acne, scarring, oh, all sorts. So what it is, this is lemon balm and these are the oils that I make with, to make obviously um, lemon balm. But what I've been doing for osteoporosis, um, which is kind of really not good in my knees, um, I've been mixing all three of these products up. But this one here, I've done um, a different product in this. I've put chamomile and um, dandelion oil. Um, and this one's lavender. So what I want to do, because I'm kind of disabled myself, um, like, and I'm finding it kind of hard because the cooking and what I'm doing is I'm burning myself, look. So I've got that burn there. That is since I've used this. So I've just put, I've put, put my cream on. I've put it on my other one as well because I'm burning both hands. So it's kind of like, ouch, you know, we all know what a burn's like. And then if I show you this burn, it's there. And that's without oil. So it's kind of the same spot, same spot on different hand. But like I said, you know, I'm dropping kind of, um, yeah, that's kind of bad, isn't it? So I will be putting um, this on tonight. I mean, I've got marks everywhere because um, I'm actually looking after my own son um, with um, nose brain and spine, spinal injury, brain injury, and um, I'm treating him for um, skin conditions um, with different these solves that I make. Um, whatever I make, these are just sample kind of pots that I've been doing. Um, and uh, they are absolutely fantastic. So this one here, for instance, I mean, my hands are disgusting today. My hands have been in everything. It's more of uh, a nice, soft state of my hands. Uh, let me show you my other hand. My other hand's probably cleaner. <laughs> no, none of the hands are clean. They have been clean. I'm just, just been in everything today. But I just wanted to do this video because I wanted to show you that the lemon balm, not the oils, just, just the lemon balm on this. Um, and what I'll do with this one here is I'm going to, to I will use this oil and we'll see uh, the difference then between the two, um, see which one's quicker. Because obviously I have done a different one. Uh, I haven't used lemon balm with um, pressure sores. I've gone and done a dandelion salve. So, um, and it kind of takes me a good few months to make, obviously, the oils um, and the products that I get, like, when I pick, look, well, from the garden. <laughs> um, so, you know, certain times of the year, um, I just go and pick my stuff. So, what I'll do is I'll do an update on, obviously, um, my two little hands and uh, we'll see if the oil is better than the um the salve for the lemon balm because i'm using all three pro properties here so the, the lemon balm um the dandelion which i've done today but i've had I've, I've put, and chamomile i've put in there as well and with the lavender um on the actual osteoporosis uh, you know for pain relief uh, in my actual knees, joints, and it's took the inflammation completely down. So maybe I'll show you my knees at my worst point, um, maybe one day, um, and then I'll show you them um, days later when I've used the, the oils and balm um, twice a day. Um, and I'm not having to strap up my legs and 
because I feel like my bones are just gonna snap if I each like steps wherever I walk. So, you know, I'm finding it kind of difficult myself. However, like I'm saying, I'm trying to promote this for people to go out into nature, go and pick their own herbs and make their own oils and balms because they are so healing. These products are amazing um, that we've been using. My, my son is a, is a gamer. Um, he's got gamer's elbow because obviously the spinal injury side of him. So the elbow's gone all cracked and they, they're not very nice elbows. It happened a couple of years back, but it's been Christmas and, you know, he spent a, a bit a bit more time on his gaming, I suppose. So, but um, it came on very quick. Um, and I put videos, I've done videos of that um, from basically start to end and the skin healed. It was just like a miracle. Um, you know, it's just so unbelievable what is out there. Um, and I love making them. It's just amazing. Um, and like I said, these sample pot pots here that are just amazing because they are kind of, I say a sample pot, but that lasts, lasts that would last a whole precious or um, a deep tissue. Um, not this, not the lemon balm, I wouldn't. Well, I have used lemon balm, but not in the deep tissue wounds, no. Um, maybe that needs a look. <laughs> that needs, I'm going to use the dandelion. Um, anyway, um, I'll do an update in a couple of days and see how my hands are. Um, and we see the difference. That's my right. So this is going to have the oil. And that is my left, which is, I've just put the balm on. Um, which I use for my, I, re, I use for my head as well, it's beautiful, and mix with a bit of lavender, and, um, it's kind of really like, it's lovely, it's really, this, this one, the consistency on this one is beautiful, so I, I've been doing some gar gardening stuff, pots of herbs today, so it's kind of like messing about with dirt, um, and stuff, so, yeah, um, I'll do an update soon.